You know what, it may seem like another Monday in the wireless industry, but in all reality, it's a pretty special start to June. I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com. The Samsung Galaxy S3 is coming to the United States. The press release crossed the wire this morning at 12 o'clock, and all of the individual carriers have made announcements, with the exception of AT&T. So we know it's coming to five carriers starting in June. Verizon, AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile, and U.S. Cellular. We've gotten press releases this morning from Verizon, from Sprint, from T-Mobile, and from U.S. Cellular, and we're still holding on AT&T's official press release. Let's round up what we know and what we don't know in the Samsung Galaxy S3 Roundup video, which rolls right now. You know what, one of the things with this job, we work in the media industry, so press releases never really stop. There are time zones everywhere, and when you deal with companies that are from South Korea, or London, or more on the East Coast, perhaps the Pacific Coast, you get press releases at all hours of the morning, all hours of the afternoon, and all hours of the night. That was the case with the Samsung Galaxy S3 press release across the wire this morning at 12 o'clock. And that one came from corporate Samsung, and it said it was coming to five carriers. The Galaxy S3 is coming to Verizon, AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile, and U.S. Cellular starting in June. And then we got individual press releases this morning from four of those five U.S. carriers. Now, interestingly enough, we didn't get one from AT&T, but it's time to kind of round up. I was going through the press releases this morning and this afternoon taking a look at some of the details, it's time to round up and give you an idea of what to expect from your respective carrier. So let's start with Verizon. Pre-orders for the Galaxy S3 start on June 6th. So you can pre-order it starting on June 6th. That is uh, two days from now, if I recall, at 7 a.m. Eastern Time. 16 gigabytes for $199.99, 32 gigabytes for $249.99. So interestingly enough, this model is going to follow the iPhone model where they've got two different SKUs available for purchase in Verizon retail stores and online at verizonwireless.com. Now, Verizon didn't specify when the device was coming to retail stores. They just said June 6th for pre-orders. In the coming weeks was the press release terminology for the device at Verizon Wireless. AT&T, interestingly enough, has not released any sort of press release as of yet, as of the time of this video, although there isn't a page available online at att.com slash Galaxy S3, and it's not the letter 3, it's III. So Galaxy S III, and you can go and take a look and sign up and be notified as to when it's available on AT&T or when more information is available. So nothing yet. AT&T has been mysteriously quiet about it, but we did receive a press release from Sprint as well. So it's coming to Sprint on Thursday, June 21st, and you can pre-order it starting tomorrow, uh, June 5th, at Sprint.com slash Galaxy S3. Again, their version is Sprint.com slash Galaxy S III. So you can pre-order starting tomorrow, $199.99 for 16 gigabytes there, $249.99 for 32 gigabytes. Now, interestingly enough, the 32 gigabyte de uh, device on Sprint is only going to be available through web sales. So if you want it and you want to buy it, you're going to have to buy it through uh, Sprint.com. You're not going to be able to get it in retail stores, at least according to the press release. You're only going to be able to get the 16 gigabyte variant uh, in Sprint retail, to uh, retail stores. Rather, T-Mobile, Thursday, June 21st, is going to be available in stores. No information about price or colors or variants or anything like that. I'm assuming they're all going to do a 16 and 32 gigabyte model but that's, uh, that remains to be seen on T-Mobile. We do know it's coming on Thursday, June 21st, though. U.S. Cellular pre-sale starting June 12th. So actually their pre-sale starts pretty early, or U.S. Cellular's press release terminology was a little bit off. Uh, it's available in July, so you're not going to be able to get your hands on it until July. Coming on June 12th, at least in terms of a pre-sale, the 32 gigabyte version, and this is something I kind of read, and I was like, I wonder if they're all doing this. U.S. Cellular made a point to say, and I'm, forgive me, I'm uh, checking my cheat notes here, uh, U.S. Cellular made a point to say that the 32 gigabyte version is only going to be available in white. I don't know if that translates over to Verizon or Sprint or all the other carriers that are confirmed to offer the device in the 32 gigabyte variant, but that's kind of an interesting point on U.S. Cellular's front. So to recap, pre-orders, Verizon June 6th, Sprint June 5th, U.S. Cellular June 12th, T-Mobile no pre-order availability, and again AT&T has been silent. Pricing we've heard from two carriers, Verizon and Sprint. Both $199 for the 16 gigabyte version, $249.99 for the 32 gigabyte version. And just to give you a recap of the specs here, 1.5 gigahertz dual core Snapdragon S4 processor. It's got an 8 megapixel camera with 1080p HD video recording. It's got a 1.9 megapixel front facing camera, a 2100 milliamp hour battery on Verizon, on Sprint, and on AT&T. It'll pack 4G LTE capabilities. On T-Mobile, it'll pack HSPA plus 42 megabit per second capabilities. And I should say the US cellular version will have 4G LTE as well. Another cool point, it actually packs the physical home button. Across the board, they maintain the physical home button on all of the US variants, so no more uh, capacitive buttons. It's going to be physical, or at least two capacitive buttons on the side with that big physical button. 
and the middle. So if you like the look of the international version, you've always been frustrated when they switched over to the US version and it's resorted in capacitive buttons, you are in luck, my friends, because it has a physical button on all of the, uh, the Galaxy S3 variants that I have seen. Pre-order links for Verizon, I believe it's verizonwireless.com slash uh, Samsung, or Galaxy S3, or III, on AT&T, att.com slash Galaxy S, III for three, Sprint, Sprint.com slash Galaxy S, III, and then T-Mobile's is a really long one, which I'm going to put up on the, uh, the video here as well, but it's galaxy-s.t-mobile.com slash Samsung-galaxy-s3, and it's the number three. So, depending on which carrier you're on, the, uh, the links may differ a little bit, but it's an exciting device, and kudos to Samsung. I have to give them some credit. Whoever orchestrated the whole cross-carrier thing, this is something they've been wanting to do for a long time. It's a huge accomplishment that they're releasing the same device on the four nationwide carriers in addition to US cellular. That's a pretty impressive feat. Kudos to Samsung. Can this thing compete with the HTC One X? Can it compete with the iPhone 4S? Can it compete with the Samsung Galaxy Note? I think yes, but it's gonna be interesting to see in the coming weeks when it releases on the various carriers how it holds up to the other devices in that respective carrier's lineup. Stay tuned for more on PhoneDog.com for Galaxy S3 coverage. PhoneDog.com slash, uh, actually we don't have a page up for it yet, so I shouldn't say that, but PhoneDog.com, keep it locked on the site for continuing coverage. Facebook.com slash PhoneDog. Hit me up on Twitter, let me know what you think about the Galaxy S3. PhoneDog underscore Aaron, and on Facebook at Facebook.com slash PhoneDogAB. It's announced, it's on its way, so stay tuned for more coverage on PhoneDog.com.